Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, this is probably the type of video I should have been making a while ago. I've been on the spectrum like pretty much as long as I can remember. Technically, uh, more in my teens. Guess the main reason I'm making this video too is I realize I uh, have not been dealing with it very well the past couple of years. But yeah, I uh, I started realizing in particular I was like getting burnt out with things faster. Probably, say 2022. I guess back in 2020 even. Start of the pandemic. Obviously the pandemic had a large part of it. I started noticing it in general and kind of spiraled since then to the point where I thought that was a year ago. Pretty sure that was around the time I started doing physical therapy. Maybe that was last year. I I honestly can't process that right now. Yeah, because I've just been more abrasive, downright toxic about things as much as I've been trying so hard uh, to avoid it. But I guess I'm going to go over kind of that time and didn't really want to focus on the game so much that I've done that time, but I think it would kind of explain it better. Give me good analogies and metaphors and kind of help me build up to other points too. And But yeah, Hollow Knight in particular. Like Hollow Knight, I ended on a rough note. It's kind of whatever. I was trying to get back into it, playing it a bit. And after I kind of got over that first hump, it was like, okay, yeah, this isn't too bad. Um, Eventually, I did still hit the the most I could get out of that game at that point. At that point, I was like, yep, I kind of need to stop. Like, just kind of give myself something new to do to kind of deal with that burnout that was kind of continually coming on. Next, it was Dark Souls. And uh, after I beat that game, uh, it was, I think it was Resident Evil Village. I was going back to Resident Evil in general because it was familiar, but new, but different. Something different to kind of get distracted with for a bit. Yeah, after, and I was like, you know what? Village looks all right. I'll give it a shot. I wasn't big on first person games. I uh, wasn't big on the whole RE7 style. I'm not going to try to get on that too much. The parts I do want to get to are basically the main reasons I had problems with Resident Evil Village, which is something that probably just shapes my view on games in general, literally. Uh, the field of view was so narrow, and the constant sensations it gave me I guess yeah let's I feel like the main thing that I've been doing wrong these past few years with that I have not been taking care of myself like I've been trying to and I'm saying trying to and I'm at, trying in many different ways uh I'll do stretches and squats and movement exercises like all throughout the day as often as I can because I know if I don't I may actually not be able to move tomorrow maybe not move figuratively, probably more so. I'll get more on that too. And I keep telling myself, I need to do things for my health. Um, a few months back, I hurt my back. It just kept getting tighter. I tried to stretch it. tried not to sit too much. It just, and it just kept getting tighter and tighter. I tried to make sure I was getting water, eating right, you know, everything everyone tells you. Um, and I was trying to get some shoes on to walk up town because I just... Got to do something. Try walking. And my back popped on the right side. I could. It wasn't like there was any motor loss. The best way to describe it is if like my skin was stuck to itself and it just like that. Um, It hurt a lot. It, But yeah, and that weekend was coming up and my back was hurting a lot. Didn't really know what painkillers to try. So I tried an edible for pretty much the first time in my life. Uh, I had like a couple instances one that might not have really been one and another time that I don't remember very well anyways I started taking edibles for that and started noticing things at that point like with how how I see video games how I hear things how I process things through my head um this is also very relevant to games I've been playing lately it was also relevant to games I was playing back with Resident Evil Village, and uh, it was like that this weird sensation with that tunnel vision, which I'm sure if most people have issues with this, I'm starting to wonder if autism being on the rise is just people are changing, people are different. But so I, I'm not a doctor, but and it was very frustrating. Like it, it how, how do I want to explain this? 
it was like a very bizarre experience i don't want to say it's like frustrating but it's definitely a very bizarre experience playing that game for me as most of the time it feels like i have monoculars or binoculars glued to my face actually it would be monoculars you only get one just one gopro but one monocular just like this like a cyclops playing that game and how it's like super glued to my face so everywhere i, I move it, it gives me this like this sensation um until the end of the game where it goes into third person and then it goes back into first person and it goes into third person and it actually moment they actually started doing that and then it's like i'm able to actually feel like i'm seeing the game from the way it was intended not really i don't know anyways that's that's in there and i see ethan who is trying to save his daughter rose and i felt very sad i remember my own dad and past few days too uh family at my mom's house had to put her uh cat boo boo down and uh, yeah i remember when he was a little kitten he'd climb up on my leg while i was washing dishes or something and he would just try to get my attention he was a little dude back then we called him little dude he got really long he was just the longest boy and then he got kind of heavy but he was also long we called him pico diablo little devil little other words um and then my and we should just asked her dad what to name him his name was because dad just called, kept calling boo boo was like dang why we just call him that boo boo loved dad he would dad would go out to work in the shed and uh boo boo would go follow him you know do manager support in the end resident Evil village like Hard to think about games sometimes, about how good they actually are. Because, like, I see a game like Resident Evil Village, and I realize my experience is just probably so different from someone else's. Like, not even... I mean, obviously, that's the point, right? That's the point of video games. But it's even weirder for me, because I feel like I have to... I have to take a different perspective. Not because I actually have to, but because I've been encouraged that I should. Because that's basically how the world works. I guess that's probably where, why I kept switching. Because I felt like I... I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing with myself lately. <laughs> I, don't, I still understand a lot of stuff. I guess, yeah, the, the point that I really started to realize why I was doing... Like, I knew I was doing these things for a reason. And I kept trying to switch it up, and it wasn't working. And I kept trying to switch it up, and it wasn't working. I tried something slightly different, and it wasn't working. It's probably also why I like randomizers as a good way to distract myself. Relive something familiar but different. Maybe that's why a lot of people play randomizers. Maybe a lot of neurotypical, neurodivergent people actually play randomizers because of that reason. They like, they like actually the change of something familiar. It's probably also why I've had a hard time changing what I want to focus on. And it feels like the only thing I've really done for myself, like I said before, was the edible. And um, really weird to kind of just realize more and more about how it's a, I, I really don't know how to phrase this part like this part is really hard to explain so we have to go back to video games for it maybe, maybe there's a reason i like video games it actually helps me understand people <laughs> as strange as that might sound when i've been playing smash bros i've been having these sensations online with like the input leg and maybe why people handle input leg differently and i started feeling like when I would play that game high, I would actually, the way I would predict movements was incredibly different. Whereas like a lot of times if it's semi real time, you can kind of get a feel for it. The way I was starting to do with that game felt like I was starting to actually create scenarios in my head in the moment to help better give me an idea of how to anticipate what the opponent would do. I feel like most people don't do that. And I realized that only being able to do that while high is probably the main reason I feel like I can tolerate that game. It's always been my favorite part about the game, kind of reading how the other character is moving while I'm about to move to them. It's like reading a sentence before you say the words. I don't know if, I actually don't know if that's something people do, but when I read a sentence, I'm generally reading a few words ahead to kind of buffer it in my head so I know how I want to read it. And I don't know if most people tend to do otherwise. I guess I should probably get really to the the point of this part um i took a big hit of ed ch good pain reliever sweetness it was actually horrible that's really sweet it was gross really creamy don't like do not recommend and i've heard people going on bad trips but i felt like i had the opposite of that where 
when I was like super high, I was thinking to myself as I was sober, wow, I just feel everything. And I realized like it feels like like I've worked on stories before and I realize, like obviously most stories that get made are probably made by people who are imposing themselves on the story. Makes me wonder too how many directors out there are just people on the spectrum just feeling everything and figuring out how to deal with it. My stories too, I would constantly make characters who are just constantly overwhelmed all the time. And I felt like if I was a functional human being, I would just literally be doing those things. Like based on how overwhelmed I am all the time by like feeling everything around me. If I was just a functional human being in the way most people say, I would be the protagonist of my story. And it doesn't even feel like a stretch to say that, which is bizarre. Dragon was saying I was getting very philosophical. But at the moment, I'm like, yeah, no, I am. No, you have to listen. You don't. Dragon, you don't understand. I'll say Dragon for this instance. Dragon, you don't understand. When I'm sober, I feel everything. I feel the universe. I feel every universe. Sorry. <laughs> and when I'm high, it's easy to. It was easier to realize that. It was easier to deal with it. The sensation. Sometimes being able to feel like I can feel light on my skin. I still don't know like a lot of ways to deal with the ways I've been abrasive. The ways I've been toxic. I've already been trying to cut back on interactions in general to help with that to yeah dragon would tell me a lot of times too like it seems like i need help it seems like i'm not functioning today and like in my head i'm telling myself yeah that's yeah but i don't want to admit it because i'd feel guilty so yeah it, uh, I, I also understand now too why um people on the spectrum why if they actually uh were even more overwhelmed by these senses, I could see why they'd um, they'd have a hard time functioning. Why they would actually act the way they would. Like I'm just like right on that, like I'm right on that cusp of uh, not being able to like function at all. But being able to function enough to make people think I can do things most days. All right, I had to take a little. I had to take a moment there. Um. I think I'm okay now. The main reason I want to make this video too is because I, I realize why I'm getting like so abrasive, so toxic, so focused, so obsessed on things. And even then, I don't have a lot of uh, other better ideas to fix that right now. And I guess that's the main reason I figured I should just make this video anyways. Because I was really thinking a lot about what it means to be on that spectrum. And it feels like it's like there are just different parts of my brain that are having to bridge differently to get to the same spot that other people get to. And in some ways it gets to other things way faster. Well, I'll make weird comments that people don't think about, but technically that was my first one. But I knew that wasn't the one I should use. So I go to the next one. But if I want to be funny, I go to that one because it's actually... And I also realize how fast I'm thinking at any moment. It's probably why I was kind of good at Among Us. I would see one thing happen. And I would be like going through 30 different things. Uh, I didn't like playing like that. Cause, dude, that's horrible. It's toxic. And I go through all those things and try and just to browbeat. Like I tried to use it a little bit, but I also feel bad when I do it. Can't even three stock somebody to smash ultimate without feeling bad. <laughs> That's like the worst part. I guess it's like even playing Smash Bros. It's like, I think it sucks to get destroyed, but like three stocking somebody and them not being able to play, it just feels so horrible. Like I think the saddest I've ever been on that game. I was just trying to look for 2v2s. Like they feel more casual. I feel like we could just try to have fun. Most people get to play most of the time. Most people aren't stuck just, you know. I got a kid who had, oh, probably a kid, somebody who just had like the wildest real estate. It was like stamina. It was like just any stage. It was items. And, and I'm like, sure. And I accidentally 
oh no like he was doing better than me he was straight up doing better with these items so it's like you know what fine we'll have fun today and then i actually win in just the dumbest way possible like oh no that's so rough oh no i didn't deserve that so like, you know what? let's play again maybe we'll get some we'll get some more fun and then i got matched into another match and it's like, I really don't want to take this seriously. You know what? Let's see if I can get my Mii Brawler to go on to the final destination of this to go up. And I just SD'd a few times. And the new guy was teabagging on the kid. And I hated everything about that so much. Everything about that. I probably don't need to really put this in the video, but... Because, like, I guess that's... And, yeah, I'm getting distracted with Smash Bros. That's how I deal with this stuff. Try to distract myself with something. I can just make me or just anyone else happy. Which is probably why I wanted to start YouTube. Although, that's a, yeah. Probably why I wanted to start Twitch. 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 I just want to have fun with things. And sometimes I want other people to have fun with it too. Like, I didn't just want to be the only person having fun with it. Ugh, the point of my sorrows, I should probably get back to though. Was like how... Yeah, I keep trying to go back to games to avoid actually just even thinking about this, but <clears throat> how people think, and you know, it's like when I was really high, I'm just looking back on how people see things. Feels like when I'm high, my brain automatically does a fisheye lens thing. I don't know if that's how normal people see things. It would make sense, but I also don't know if that's just a common thing, but this stuff in my periphery vision suddenly isn't clear, if that makes any sense. It's probably why I don't do eye. Con it's probably why people on the spectrum don't do eye contact. Everything else is so clear. It's hard to focus, and when I'm high, it actually feels like it it'll take like even text I can normally read on the bottom of like my peripheral vision. It'll take like a sixteen by nine image and just and just four by three it. I'm like, why is that? Why did that go in four by three? And I look down. It's normal. And it feels like if I'm hearing things around me, my brain automatically turns on noise canceling headphones. The big reason I got noise canceling headphones. But it feels like my brain will automatically do that. And I'm actually very aware it is doing so. But when I'm sober, I'm not aware. Well, I'm aware, but the only way to deal with it is to just compress basically which is probably why my legs hurt every day it feels like skin is stuck to them and i'll stretch them and i'll get and they'll get angry about it and i'll walk and i'll exercise squat do it with my shoulders daily and it just feels like the skin is just clamped down on my legs because probably does feel like everything around me is compressing me even not consciously subconsciously my body Feels like that. It's <laughs> actually just suctioning inward, apparently. And like when I get high, it's like I, I realize, wow, my skin doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't feel everything. Why well, wear tinted glasses whenever I'm at the computer? Why am I, <laughs> why am I setting up my green screen? Lights are not facing at me. And I realize maybe that's. And it's just being on the spectrum. That's a that's actually what it is. Things are just things don't work the same. And Reagan was saying before, he feels like it's just a part of evolution. And actually, yeah, makes sense. Whether or not what part it is, it's hard to say. But yeah, I think that's I think that's where I'll leave that. I need to. I'll probably still get mad about things in your future. I'm gonna try to find ways around it. I've constantly finding ways around it. Still know how. I spent spent a good just so much of my life trying to Yeah. I think I need to stop there for now. Thanks for watching. Have a good one out there. I actually do mean that. I just wish I was better at it. <laughs>